Now, let's get into the stomach cancer and how it affects the body. We have Dr. Yaguna Seni at the 3D image of a stomach who has, that has cancer. So can you talk to us about what a healthy stomach looks like and what a stomach with cancer looks like? So this is a diagram of the stomach. Here we have the esophagus that leads into the proximal part of the stomach, it moves distally. This is the antrum and eventually gets into the duodenum, which is the beginning portion of the small bowel. Mm -hmm. A normal stomach on endoscopy, you're gonna see nice pink mucosa, these rugae that kind of have nice swirls. Um, as you start getting um, into the area of injury to the area, you start getting something called gastritis. The uh, mucosa starts getting red, erythematous, uh, friable. This can, with time, become an ulcer, and you can see kind of a, a crater-like lesion in the mucosa. And eventually, you develop a solid tumor, which initially is interluminal, meaning that it sits on the mucosa. But as it advances, it can penetrate through the wall of the stomach. Um, all tumors, we talk about staging. Right. And basically, there's three portions of the staging. There's the T stage, which is T for tumor. And really, it's not about how big the tumor is. It's more about how superficial or how deep it penetrates through the wall of the stomach. So the higher the T stage, the more advanced. Um, we look at N, which is for lymph nodes. The stomach has a series of lymph nodes that sit around the stomach, around the periphery. That is part of the operation we remove. And we assess whether or not the tumor has spread to the peripheral lymph nodes. And then lastly, we look at metastasis, M. Has the tumor spread anywhere else, like the liver, the lungs, the uh, uh, intra-abdominal cavity?